Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do an ATC card using magazine uh, people. <laughs> and if you're new to my channel or you just found me, I'm going to link above two of my previous uh, videos and the links will be down below as well in the description um, of how we did faces using the um, magazine pictures of people, um, how to help it guide you and, um, you know, kind of get the feel for doing a face. I know a lot of you are nervous about doing, uh, faces. A lot of you, uh, don't like doing them or are afraid. And I totally get that. Um, but this is really fun and an easy way for you to kind of grasp, you know, the eyes, the nose and the mouth, no big deal. Um, plus it's fun to deface people. So, <laughs> so what I have here is, obviously a picture from my uh, people magazine for some reason i got people magazine in the mail um and i don't read them but i rip them apart and lately all i've been doing is ripping apart um these for faces and i found these because these are going to fit good on your atc card and if you uh, go to your local library they're always throwing the older magazines out um, so you can get them for free. Uh, you can get books, you know, magazines, whatever. You can go to your local dollar store and get stuff. You can ask your neighbors. You can use something in the newspaper, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, we're just gonna have fun. So that aside, this is an ATC card. It's a blank ATC card. ATC cards are called artist trading cards. And Ideally, you make little pieces of art on them and you trade with others. Uh, we do an ATC swap in my uh, All Things Creative group. Uh, thanks to Susan, Susan Bush. She's an angel. Um, so, you know, it's two and a half by three and a half. That is the all the time measurements. If it's any different than those two, it's not an ATC card. Now there's inches and... I don't know all the names and everything like that. I'm dealing with the ATC card today. Um, but you can also go on Google and put in ATC cards or artist trading cards, and you will see a million come up in all different ways. So uh, y'all asked me to use the crayon technique in with the um, magazine technique, so I'm going to see if I can do this. So I have my card here. Now, you can see on this card, I don't know if you can see it, but it is textured. I think you can see it a little bit, or you can see on this side, it's flat. I'm going to use the flat side, um, but you can use either side. It, it really doesn't matter. Don't ask me why I'm using that sign, but I am. Now, here's a piece of um, paper that came from a um, musical book, you know, piano book or some, some stuff like that. Um, and you can, if you're having trouble starting your ATC card and you want to... Um, you know, fill the white page or fill the white ATC card, you know, take something like this or out of a book, even text and glue it down. And then once it's glued down, you know, trim it with the scissors, you, can, you turn it over and then you'll see, you know, what comes off and cut it off. And then you'll have a background started for your ATC. I'm not going to necessarily do that today, but we could do that on this. I'll show you real quick. I'm just going to scribble here. And push hard when you're using your white crayon. You can get your crayons, you know, at the dollar store or wherever. All right, and then I'm going to take some Crayola color. Uh, let's go orange today. And I'm going to put it down here just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to get the majority of the water out. I'm going to go in. Look at that deliciousness. We're making our own watercolor. And then I'm going to take my paper. And you can see where it's resisting. Okay. And then we'll just do... Now it's going to soak into the paper. But it won't go into the wax parts. And you see... See how you get the, the white resist? And I scribbled all the way up, but you definitely get a uh, great background started just on that. And then you can glue it on your card and do whatever. I didn't do any specific shapes. I just kind of scribbled in the middle and that's, now you can layer more colors or do whatever. Um, and it's fun. So you can definitely do that. But let's start here. So I have this and I'm going to use a stencil. 
use whatever stencil you have. If you don't have a stencil, use um, just scribble, do whatever. Now I can use this stencil. I got this great uh, stencil in a random act of kindness. Uh, I think that the video is up if you are curious. All right, and I think I'm just going to lay it down like that in the, I'm going to start it down here and put the birds like that. Now you don't have to be so, oh, I'm kind of, let me move this up. I'm cleaning my desk off, so everything's kind of, kind of out of my uh, thing here. Let's do this. Okay, so you can see I just have that. Now I'm just taking my crayon and uh, you got to hold both cards, Cal. <laughs> Both things. Hold your card underneath when you're doing this because you just saw it a swing. It's a swinger, that card. All right. And if you're interested in joining my All Things Creative group, my link is down below as well as all my social media. My Twitter, Google, Pinterest, Facebook, email, all that good stuff. All right. And I'm pushing hard and there's little crumbles. It's all right. We'll get them off. I just want that in the... All right. So... I'm going to give it a little blow to get those crinkles off, crumbles, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Let me see if you guys can. I can see it, but I don't know if you can see it. See the birds on there? Yeah, you can. Let me see if that way is better. See? There's the birds. The birds. Okay. And then I think up in this corner, just to show you, you know, we could do these dots. We could just go ahead and color them in. We can do a little bit of something here. I don't know. We're just doing a line, but use whatever you have and you don't have to use the whole stencil. Just use bits and pieces. So you get some, um, there you go. Let's see if you could see this now. Yep. See in there, all that. So that's all wax resist. So now what we're going to do is and that's just your regular white crayon from whatever i have crayola you can use rose art you can use um from the dollar store you can use whatever you want tell me what you want what you really really want okay let's do this color let's do uh eh, you know what oh yeah we'll just do this color so i'm just using a crayola marker in red rojo or rouge and i'm gonna scribble it just a little bit okay and you only need a little bit because, you, as you could see, the last one, I just put a little water on there. And uh, it really came to life. Look at that. Blood. Give me blood. All right. I'm taking both sides of my brush like this to suck it up. Get my brush to suck it up. Okay. And now I'm just going to turn this sideways so you can see a little bit better. And here we go. Look. Look at that. Genius, genius. Okay, now let's say, because I'm going to do her face on here, but, you know, this is the start to the background. But maybe, just maybe, let's erase this. And, and you can take your finger or a Q-tip, you know, or whatever, or wait till the paper is dry. And then you can go in because that balls up, you know, that kind of beads up. and So you could just take a piece of whatever and kind of get that out. But look how cute. But let's do another color. Maybe we don't dig that color. Let's, let's do this. Let's go here. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to just do two balls here. And just some lines. And some lines. And A2C cards, you get themes. So sometimes it's do whatever you want theme. Sometimes it's the grass theme. You know, it doesn't really, it doesn't matter. All right, let's do a little purple. I'm just going to do like that. I'm going to stick my brush in the water and rinse it. And then take it out and then wet that up. And... I'm going to do a little darker. Okay. One more swipe of Rosie. Okay. And then you let that dry, and you can see you have different colors, but the red's still underneath. 
It's fun. I love it. You can go on. I can go on. But here's our background. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. And now I'm going to take my magazine. I'm going to go in and, I don't know, let's cut her out. And I'm going to do it carefully just so I don't mess up the people next to them because I love, I'm just going to set that aside because I love playing around. Although that's a really cute dress. Huh. All right, let's see. So I'm going to put her on here. Just like that. And I'm going to cut her right underneath the boobs. There you go. And look, save this for collages and all that. Maybe you need a leg for collage. I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to kind of cut her out. And you can leave her hair to guide you. And you can cut her arms off, whatever. I mean, you, it's yours. You do what you want. Okay. And then throw that away or do whatever you want to do with it. And then I'm going to take my rag one more time just because I don't have time to sit here and I'm just going to give it a pounce so it's drier than I want it. Drier than wet, whatever. All right, and let me show you this up close. Now, you can really go crazy and just keep laying, you know, like before you put the color on, if you want the white under there or, you know, you got some of that different, it's like batik looking and, and all that. So you can really go nuts, but I'm not going nuts today. I'm going to take my Elmer's Extreme glue stick. It's my favorite. Oh, look at that. I could do her. Or I could do her. Huh. I don't know. Her hair is up, though, and I, I should have cut it better. So I'm just going to have to smear glue on you. I'm sorry, honey. Look. Uh, look, she's getting her revenge. It's She stuck to herself. I don't know who that is. She's a pretty girl, but no idea who it is. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to decide what way... I want my birds and whatever if I want them to show. So I am going to lay this here. And just do this. Look at that. I don't have to worry about it drying or, you know, whatever. Got my glue stick. All right. And close your glue stick up or you'll be like me and come down to use it the next time. And it's the whole thing's wasted because you didn't close it. All right. And there's a little blue here because there we go. Okay, shaking around, shaking around. So now, let's do a little bit of work on our face. Only take a few minutes. Now, let's do, what do I have here? Light flash, portrait light. Uh, let's do light. Let's do portrait light. All right. Okay, it's a very light one. And I need a little brush. I'm not going to wet my brush going in the first time. I'm just going to do it. And look, yes, a, a couple of you wrote and asked about if you can gesso this. Of course you can. You have to understand, though, sometimes I get on here to do videos because in my head it's like, oh, like three people asked me to do this or somebody asked me to do that. And I want to do it. So I get on the camera and then I forget that uh maybe we'll do the dress i forget that i am uh i didn't gesso it because i know a lot of you asked me but yes you can gesso it like this as i'm doing it i mean this is just a play i'm, I'm not here to to um you know you guys do what you want okay probably do a different background Okay, nothing major. When she dries, you'll be able to see. All right. Very light. What the heck did I do there? Gave her a little, little swoopy. Okay. Or a schmoopy. What is that from? Oh, my peeps out there the same age as me. What is a schmoopy? All right, so let's work on her hair. And now I don't want to use that. We'll use this one. Okay, what color hair do we want to give her? Another pink background. Imagine that. Wonder how come. <laughs> 
Oh, let's just go blue. I'm just going to use uh, True Blue from Americana. I'm just going to oh, drop it over because why not? I'm dipping in now. I'm going to go and do my first coat, which will act like my gesso. I like doing crazy color hair, but of course you could do whatever color you want. I know some of you probably don't like blue or pink hair, so do it regular. Just have fun while you're doing it, you know? Because that's what it's all about. I'm going to make it a little wider because I like big hair. Make that a little wider there. You can use markers here. You could use crayons here. You can use whatever you have. You don't have to worry that uh, you can't do it because you don't have paint. You can do it. You can do it. I want to make her have a little bit of thicker down here. Okay. So that's that for that. Now... I need my very small brush to do her eyes. And I'm a little speedy today, a little, little quicker than normal, only because um, I don't want to keep you guys here forever. What the heck is all over this? Water, I guess. Same thing, Bambi Brown. It's from Ceram Coat. I love it. I just used the littlest bit, and I'm going in now. You should probably, let me, you don't want to dry it too too close or too long because of the crayon resist it will let it will melt essentially right I just want to get that face dry a little bit more okay and you can see as I lift it up you can see her you can see her features underneath if you really you know want them and so I'm gonna I wipe off I got asked this too why do I wipe off like that, and it's just so it's not goopy, especially when you're doing so small of uh, eyes and all. And I like using this color for, you know, just a little bit of um, shadowy, you know. Just doing like that. We don't have to do nothing fancy. She doesn't have to look the same. Get that out of your head. We're just going to do little somethings here. And yeah, you could use your markers again. Do whatever you have. See? Nothing major. Just follow underneath the guide. And then make it, you know, make it your own. I'm just going to do some eyebrows. You could do the eyebrows blue if you want. You could do whatever you want. Now, I like to like define. I always make a big chin. I don't know why, but I like to define the uh, separation between the chin and the neck. You know, I'm going to probably have to do a dress on her. Like a paint this a different thing. I don't know. I'm not really digging it, so... But anyway, you can see that. So then I'm just going to go into what I do with it. Let's do some metallic green. My Purdue. Purdue. Oh, it's not a chicken, but you know what I'm saying. And I'm just doing a little dot. And I'm going to go in. Now I'm going to tell you my RA is bad today. I woke up. I, I couldn't move. And it took me a while to get going. Um, so you have to excuse me for the... I'd rather you watch... If you're just finding this, I'd rather you watch my other videos on this that were much better. This is struggling because, like I said, I don't, I'm not feeling that great. So my body's like revolting, saying you should be in bed. All right, so I'm just laying that in there. I'm not worrying about it so much. I might have to do the hair a little more, but I'll do that in a second. And then I'm going to take some warm white. It's a uh, folk art. 
undip it just a little bit to add some white around her eye. So it comes out a little more. Then I'm going to show you something, which I'm probably going to end up doing because I'm not digging on this right now. But let me show you something. Why am I? <sighs> okay. What I'm going to do is this because I'm not digging. I'm not digging on the, uh, the eye situation. Well, then you know what? No, I'm not. Let me paint her lips pink because that's what's sitting here. And then maybe I can go on and I won't, but it won't bother me. There's nothing worse. And maybe you guys can, can, uh, understand this. There's nothing worse than having RA or fibro or whatever. And you want to do something so badly. What for me, I love making videos. It makes me, it's like such a pleasure for me to do things for you and your comments and your email. Like it, it just makes me so happy. And I love that so many of you have, you know, learned something from me and <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Um, but do you know what I mean? So it just makes me so happy. But when I'm having a bad day, it's like, I just want to stop. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? Because like, I get so frustrated. It's like, why am I bothering? But I push through because I love doing it and all that. But you know what I mean? I'm a little whiny today. I'm sorry. Okay. So what I was going to do was I'm going to take a little more of that brown and I'm going to go in and close the eye like that. And I'll hold this up in a second. I don't know why my lighting's off today, but I'm off. So why not? Now you can work on a piece of wax paper, you know, if you don't have an artist mat. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. So I shut her eyes, right? She's sitting there and she's meditating. That's where we're going. Cause I don't feel like doing, you can make her meditate. All right. Yeah, there you go. You you meditate there, sister. You take it and go. There, see? Meditation will help every time. And if you want to take a little bit of your, you know, like I have my warm white right here and I'm mixing it in just a little bit with that brown color, the Bambi brown, right? So we're not so white. And then you can go touch inside just so it adds a little, you know, a little bit of light. All right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of this shirt that I don't like that she's wearing. Now, do you have markers? Do you have, uh, you know, like Sharpies or Rose art or something like that, that you can use. You don't have to use, you know, what we have on here. Um, or what I'm using, you can use whatever you want to use. Now I want to do her hair. Let me grab this one. I need a little bigger of a brush. And I'm just going to use that and I'm going to take this blue one more time. Cause I just want it. I don't know. I don't know why I'm not liking it. Probably cause I know blue hair turns to green. Anybody have that issue, but that's a little better there. It just makes it a little bit more smoother. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to pick something for her dress. I'm going to rinse that off. And how about some gray? Let me shake this up. Shake it up. All right. My rambling today must be uh, <laughs> that's going to drive everybody nuts. All right. So I'm just going in with some of this overcast uh, Americana multi-surface satin. And I'm going to go in. I'll trace it when I'm done, but I'm going to make it a little bit less severe of a neck. And then just color that in. Now this is semi, uh, this is satin basically. And what that means is it's like your normal satin paint that uh, you buy. It's a little glossy, but not like glossy, glossy. So it takes an extra second to dry. You know, so just work with it or, you know, dry 
dry it with your hair dryer or heat gun. Okay. See, she has her, her moo moo on. Her moo moo to do. Her moo moo to do do. <gasps> She's meditating. Okay. All right. So I have that. Um, I'm going to take a little more flush color to do her arms just to bring them down. I'm just going to dupe in there. And I know her arms are like right here. I'm just kind of do it. I'm going to do it and I do it. I was going to do a vlog today. I might, might do one tomorrow though. All right, and then I'll just do her neck a little bit more. Warmer color. Okay. So we added a little bit of that in there. And you can see how, like, let me show you. Oh, come on, just go on. Oh, frustrated today. See how here you can see now, like, here's her dress. So it kind of just brought it in a little bit. So now we can decide what color to paint it. Gray obviously was not the right choice. So what color? So let's go for the green. Let's go for the metallic. Purdue, 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 whatever. And let's just put it on there. And I'm just going to follow the, yeah, that's better. So it's dark so you guys can see it. It's like an M. My daughter and I did, uh, <laughs> we did a video of a mother and daughter tag. I don't know when she's putting it up. I'll let you guys know, but, oh gosh, forget. In my own world down here, I'm 30. You know what I'm saying? But then when you do crap with your daughter, you realize, yeah, I'm not 30 <laughs> anymore. I'm so old. Old, old, old. Okay, so see how we did that? It's magical. It just came to life. You could put two coats if you want. I mean, for this, I'm not going to keep you forever to do it. Now, her face is a little clown-like because of the white, but you can definitely go back in with the color that you use. I'm not going to just because. Um, now, maybe I like clowns. Maybe I want to take a black pen and, and outline her eyes and, and her lips and everything like that, but that's not what I'm going to do at this moment. So, but... Oh, okay. I hope you, did you hear some of her sneeze? That's enjoyable. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do with her. I like to put, let me see if I can find my little pen. Where's my favorite pen? My favorite pen. Where are you? My favorite pen. Okay. Let's do this one. This is just the Finito by Pentel. And I'm going to take the bottom of her lashes and I'm going to give her, I mean, the bottom of her eye, I'm sorry, and just give her like little teeny little boopy ashes because she has her eyes shut. Now is when you can play around, right? That's what you do. And you just play around and you can put little eyelashes or you can, um, you know, let's just go for, let's just go for it. I'm going to outline her lips. See, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trace it all now. Mm -hmm. Quiet. Make it quiet. Shit, I'm going to put eyes in. I'm going to put the pupil. Oh, I should have done them red. Do them eyebrows up. Yeah. She has to have a teardrop somewhere. Cry baby. That's a movie. I'm not calling anybody a cry baby. Little tat. Look at that. 
I'm rhyming today. Like I should be, I swear, a rapper. I'm not even going to say it again because I said it yesterday in another video, but I think, I think I'm missing my rapper dream, even though I don't like rappers. I mean, I don't like rap music. I shouldn't say I don't like rappers because I don't know them and they, I don't think about them, but you see what I'm saying. All right. So that's, so that's me playing around <laughs> with a magazine. And like I said, I did one with Ellen where I redid her as a clown. Um, and I have other videos. So please go, um, you know, click the links. And um, one thing I want to tell you guys is up above when you guys are watching. So it'll be up here, right? It's going to be like, take your mouse and put your mouse up there if you're on your computer. And you're going to see a little I come up, the letter I. I think it's small, lowercase I. It's an I, okay? Anyway, touch it. Like, take it, your cursor. I mean, take your, <laughs> Kelly, take your pen and touch it up there. And it should open up, okay, as a card. Um, and have information. It'll have other videos and information there. If you click it, it'll then open up down below and you can see everything that's on there. Um, so I've been trying to do that a lot lately. Uh, so you guys could, uh, you know, you can see other videos that I'm talking about, or maybe that you have not seen in a series or something that I do, but I'm not the only one who does it. There's a lot of us out there who use it. So please click that eye up there and, uh, you know, and click it and see what else everybody's sharing. Cause I, the YouTube world, the art world, I just love, and I'm going to talk about somebody that I just, I found recently and, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to share her um, because I'm, I, I think I might be in love, but uh, I'll talk about that in another, uh, another video. I mean, how can I, I, I love everybody, right? But this is our ATC card. Just real, real quick, real easy. You see, I screwed up the eyes, but I put eyeballs in there and now she's looking at you like, yeah, what, what about my tattoo? I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a great day. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Share me around like I'm your loose friends. Please, please, please. And oh, my heart to your hearts. I love you guys so very much. You guys, you guys make me just, just smile when I don't want to smile. And I just, when I, from the bottom of my heart, I, I, I just, I just want to thank you guys. So that's it. That's all I got to say. I hope you have a good day. Oh my goodness. I rhymed again. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.